Hello and welcome to another episode of my F1 manager career mode for Mercedes, otherwise known as how am we going to mess up the strategy today. We are here for the Spanish Grand Prix but with rain expected on the Sunday for this weekend. Qualifying is going to be important because anything can happen in a wet Grand Prix. So let's go then into qualifying. Here we are right at the end of Q1. Try and get through qualifying. This is right is the most important part. There's yellow flags. But here is George into the final two corners. He, he could be at a bit of risk here, but he is improving. Hamilton though is down. George up to the line and he stays in P8. Now they through the final couple of corners. This is Joe. He is the only one that can get out of the bottom five. Here he comes up to the line. And he does do it, taking Ricardo out of qualifying. Hamilton is down, but he does get through. And Mick Schumacher gets through as well. Into the end then of Q2. And George is improving once again. Hamilton proved in the first sector, but down in that middle sector. But both of them should be okay. George, they both stay where they are. And Ricardo is out again so here we go then to the important part Q3 we've sent George out early to try and get a lap in as we are on the end he is P10 Hamilton is in the mix here P3 but the Red Bulls think got held up on their first lap so they're going to be quick on the second run but George comes to the end of his lap through the final couple of corners and he is improving once again in the two first sectors towards the chicane now and he goes through it so can he improve on P10 he rounds the final corner now and up to the line does he go there no he stays no he doesn't he moves up into P6 and that's pretty good not too shabby because we are struggling with this Mercedes here comes Lewis now and unfortunately he hasn't improved or I don't know what's really going on with the visuals there because it's saying that he hasn't completed the first sector so I don't know whether he made it or not to the line but anyway he's going to start P4 George Lowe has moved back down the field a little bit. He is P7. So into the race now. Strategy time. And we are going to start both of them on the soft tyres. Hopefully the rain comes quickly. So we can just time to push. Use all the tyre. And then hopefully go on to the wets. Let's go to the race. The time has come to fight it out. It's race day. We saw a reasonable push from Mercedes in qualifying and they'll have plenty of opportunities here to achieve a great result. It was a pleasure to watch Red Bull's excellent performance during qualifying. Their drivers will now be looking ahead to the race itself and hoping to capitalise. And the sky is looking grey and cloudy today. An effective tyre strategy could prove very valuable as the race plays out. It's a somewhat overcast day for the drivers who've now taken position on the grid. One of the oldest races on the Formula One calendar. This is the Spanish Grand Prix. And it's lights out and away we go. So as Crofty said, it's lights out and away we go. It's a good start by the Red Bull, but the Red Bull apparently is struggling and Lewis has already jumped in. But they're two by two. Everyone apart from Verstappen, and Lewis has gone right round the outside now of Charles Leclerc has he got the job done can he get into P3 it'd be amazing if he can he's, he's still there on the outside Verstappen though is gone Hamilton now trying to stick it out round the outside but he has to back out of it that's really annoying George there has got up and he's just behind Perez as well so let's see what he can do so we're on the end of the first lap now and the two Ferraris look, look, looking like they're going to wheel to wheel. Hamilton's dropped back like we were going to do anyway. 
but you can see the weather here it's not far away I didn't even bother with the rest of the strategy so it better come quickly and it looks like it is going to Hamilton staying ahead of Perez this is George Van Wiel to Wiel of Ocon and you can see the rain now coming down it's only taken three laps for the rain to arrive here in Barcelona George coming under pressure from the Alpine he's still there he's managed to stay ahead for now but is it going to be into this or is it going to be wet that is the risk we're going to take as Ocon goes for a move and we are going to box George for a set of the intermediate tyres because we could just end up burning out a set of wets if we go go on them now and it also depends on how heavy the rain gets as this side by side they go Ocon on the outside and he's still there he's going to have the inside line for the chicane George is going to keep his nose in though and what's up in there George has parked it on the exit what has he done there as he pits now we're going to tell George to pit Verstappen's in everyone's pretty much in it's only Leclerc we made the decision too late for Lewis but everyone is coming in now we're going to box George like I said onto the Inters and let's see what he can do is it going to get wetter it may may do but for now we'll see what happens is it to the end of the next lap you can see the rain and how much everyone's struggling on the dry tyres and there's a Ferrari on the Inters and there's Max Verstappen on the full wet tyres does Red Bull know something we don't and have we messed up here boxing both of them onto the Inters if it is going to get wetter and that's what we're going to do with Lewis we're going to put him onto the wet tyres as soon as I saw that with Max I was really surprised at the time but that has caught me out so we're going to keep we're going to have to box George for the wets at some point we've already put Lewis on the wets so we can deal with that there's a McLaren as well of Ricardo on the wets it looks like most most drivers have gone for the wets and you can see here how much George is struggling on those inters so we've already messed up today it didn't take long so that's going to really take George out of it a tiny bit but Lewis now on the wet we may have a chance here as he goes wheel to wheel then with Gasly Gasly on the inside but he's going to go right round the outside at turn 3 has he got the job done on the exit it looks like he might have done but Gasly is still keeping his nose in there is round the outside Hamilton tries to say yeah. oh, Crofty wants us to watch a replay it's not done yet but it is now and Hamilton is up with box George for the full wet tyres and now he is making his way back through the field as you see him now on the back of Magnussen and he sends it very late into turn one that's what I like to see and now they're side by side and is George going to force him wide there's a yellow flag out there and George gets the job done then on the hearts of Kevin Magnussen there's a lock up and it's Sebastian Vettel into turn three and he's gone straight on and he must have been in a good position there Aston Martin's all pointless this season and now this is Lewis getting his way through and um, George sorry getting his way through past the McLaren he's flying now on those wet tyres he needs to because he needs to get his way back through so this is George now going down the inside of the Aston Martin off Lance Stroll and he gets the job done then on Sir Lance a lot and ahead of him is Bottas and Vettel he's recovered from that spin earlier on in the race it's now going into the turn one at the Alfa Romeo and there's contact and the McLaren and the Aston Martin have hit each other and I think it's Lando Norris who's hit Lance Stroll there and that's two instances where Lando has hit someone 
in the last two races. Of course, it was Lewis last time out in Miami, but that time he's just locked up and gone straight on and he's clipped the Aston Martin there. And that's not very good. As now Hamilton wheel to wheel with Magnussen. He's getting his way back through. George is ahead of him. And now we have some work to do. Do we swap them over? Lewis is flying, but so is George as well. So we swapped both of them around. And now this is Lewis getting past the Aston Martin. Or at least trying to get past the Aston Martin or Sebastian Vettel because George just got stuck. And with Lewis on a roll, I just decided to swap him around. In fact, I think they just overtook each other. I didn't even tell him to let, let each other through. But Vettel has been overtaken by Lewis and now he's been overtaken by George as well. And now we're on the back of Alex Albon. Inside the top 10 for Williams, it would be good to see him do well. But George still fighting Vettel there, but he has got the job done. And now this is Lewis going wheel to wheel and sailing quite literally in the rain around the outside of the Williams driver. And it wouldn't be long before George recreated what his teammate did. And you see how far back Vettel has fallen as well. The Ferrari has got his way through as well in that and there's another yellow flag now as Lewis has caught the back of Bottas Alonso may have been involved in, a, in, a, in an incident here what has happened with Alonso and I think that's Charles Leclerc as you know it's Carlos Sainz both for the home Grand Prix and the home heroes have hit each other Alonso's got a penalty Sainz is also pitting and that's the worst thing possible for the Spanish fans. They want to see both of them do well. Not, they don't want to see them take each other out. So Alonso has a penalty here. And I was interested to see what happens with the front wing. And it just, just reappears. As lifts, this is Lewis flying away from George. Around the outside of Bottas. And he's still there, Bottas. Bottas is still pushing to stay ahead Lewis on the outside now and Lewis around the outside at turn 4 Crofty wants to watch a replay he hasn't got it done yet but he has now into turn 5 great move and Lewis could be on a roll here could we possibly get on this incident that is Bottas later in the race and locked up he's in the wall and now here comes the Haas through, through the gravel as it looks like the track might be drying now on lap 40 and those wet tyres starting to go off we're telling George to push and with George not well he's kind of in it he's not massively in it as he goes wheel to wheel now with Carlos Sainz who's done a great job of pulling himself back into the race after that collision with Fernando Alonso not that long ago and Lewis now is flying, Ricardo not that far up the road, and Ocon not that far up the road from Ricardo either. As there's another yellow flag, and it involves Sainz and George, who is actually overtaken there. So, what is the yellow flag? And it looks like it's Max Verstappen. What is Verstappen doing? He's about two minutes in, out in the lead, and he's spun and he's caught it, but he's in the gravel and he stops. But he's that far ahead, I don't think that really matters. But with the track drying, I decided to, as George weren't really going anywhere, to pit him for the Inters and see what he can do. Because the track, as you can see, it's not raining. It looks pretty dry on one side of the track, but it still looks quite dull on the other. So we're going to box now, George, for the Inters. I just was looking to see if anyone else had done it. And everyone still is on the on the full wet tyres. So, I don't know, this may be a gamble. But, what have we got to lose? He's only just inside the top 10. He's P9, so at worst we're only losing a single point. So, or two points, depending if he can get back in the top 10. 
But I don't know, let's see what he can do on those inters, if he can pull himself back in it. We are going to skip on now because not a lot really happened after that. We had Lewis slowly catching um, Ricardo, and you can see here on lap 44, he has overtaken Ricardo around the outside. And that, I believe, is job done. Great move. The Ricardo is still trying to keep his nose in, but he does stay ahead, Lewis, and that is job done. But now, lap 47, we have messed up here because everyone's starting to pit for dries, going straight onto dries from, from the full wet tyres. So, we've made a big mistake here boxing George onto the inters because we're going to have to box him again now. And we've taken him out of this race almost, but he still is inside the top 10 as we box Lewis now for the dry tyres and um, Perez is in as well Verstappen and Ocon stay out I think we have a very good chance here of getting a podium with just a couple of laps to go we're gonna box George as well onto both onto the mediums because we don't have any fresh set of the softs um, on either car and also there's still quite a few laps to go and I don't think that the mediums would make it to the end of the race and the softs rather wouldn't make it to the end of the race so as Verstappen pits now and as we can see the track drying and he sets the fastest lap of the race Lewis does as he now starts his hunt for Esteban Ocon to get the teams first podium of the season as that's a Red Bull of Verstappen going off the track and nearly being collected by the Haas there as now on lap 57 nine laps to go Hamilton has caught Esteban Ocon and round the outside he's gonna deny the Alpine the Frenchman of a podium because we want our first podium around the outside goes Lewis has he got the job done? No. He's going to have to wait for another lap. Frustratingly, we'll have to tell him to really get some ERS after we told him to really push in the race earlier, earlier on. But this time, Friedrich Kane, he is much, much closer to the Alpine. And now he's closing him down, he's closing him down, he's getting closer, he's getting closer. He's going to pull to the outside. He loves the outside lines. Um, today and he gets him before we even get to the first corner so on to lap 60 now and Ocon has re overtaken Lewis here very annoyingly but hopefully Lewis can get him back I think he has the pace too because I really want this first podium of the season it's amazing to think we've gone what six races without podium and to get our first podium as team boss would be amazing after the struggles of the last couple of races in Imola and in Miami as well but we're going to pull to the inside goes Lewis and he's side by side and once again he beats him before we even get to the first corner only this time hopefully he can get away and stay ahead as we skip on now to the final lap, Max Verstappen, with some mistakes, he wins the race. What a ra finishing about 30 seconds ahead of the rest. Fair play to him, that was a hell of a drive. Even with some mistakes, a bit like Hungary, which he did in real life, spinning, but still winning the race. And he went onto the right tyres on the right time, going straight onto the heart, onto the full wets. Really won him that race. But we are going to get our first podium of the career mode. No big worries here for Mercedes. Their driver did fairly well today. A truly well-earned podium here and a dream come true for everyone involved.
the highly decorated record breaker from Stevenage once again taking to the podium. But remember, it's not just about today's trophies, it's the points that can make all the difference. There's no doubt that Mercedes have a lot of potential. Now they need to figure out how to make it work for them. Yes, this was a contrasted performance, but there were some good moments. There is promise here of great things down the line. That's right, and they finished the race weekend in third place in the constructor standings. For the next Grand Prix, make sure you join us at the renowned city circuit of Monaco. Prepare yourselves for one of the most legendary rounds of the season. So that is the result, that's been your Spanish Grand Prix and what a race it was. Mixed conditions really giving us our best races of the career mode so far definitely. We head to Monaco next but yeah what a race. We did kind of screw over George a little bit, we got a podium with Lewis kind of marks over that. We're still though behind Bottas in the driver's standing so we need to fix that in the coming races. Verstappen now closes at the gap to Leclerc ever so slightly but I think even this early on in the season i know it's still early but that is a big mountain to climb if the dutchman wants to keep his crown as world champion ferrari though still leading the constructors we now have started to pull a small gap over alfa romeo and hopefully we can extend that but before we go for today's episode we have some development points for nick de Vries and also george so we're just going to put it on their worst stats that's the most logical thing to do nick de Vries, We'll see what happens with him. Everyone thinks he's young, but he is actually an oldish driver. So we'll see. If Lewis sticks around, then he might be getting on. That's way, way in the future. That's something we don't need, really need to worry about at the present moment. We have got a new chassis and we are going to manufacture some more parts for that. If you have enjoyed this video, it's been the best race of the career mode so far and our best result so far so i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in monaco goodbye